Welcome back to the Rack Warehouse YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the Showdown Load Assist Kayak and Stand Up Paddleboard Carrier from Yakima. The Showdown Slide and Tilt mechanism allows you to load your kayak or sup at waist height, making loading and unloading much easier, especially after a day on the water. The Showdown comes out of the box pre-assembled and fits most vehicles with aftermarket crossbars. To find out if your crossbars are compatible, you will first need to take some measurements. A minimum bar spread of 24 inches is required to use the Showdown. You may be able to adjust your bar spread depending on the system you have. Three and a half inches of crossbar beyond the tower is also required to make sure the showdown will clear the side of your vehicle. Installation of the showdown is simple. Place the unit on your crossbar, making sure that the outward clamp is placed on the outside of the tower. Then, firmly tighten the two knobs located on the side of the carrier. With the unit installed on your crossbars, test to see if you have enough clearance on the side of your vehicle. With the carrier in the loading position, you should have a minimum four inches of clearance. Round bar adapters are included for those who wish to mount the showdown to their Yakima round bars. To do so, install the adapters on the bar directly. You will need to remove the jaw pads from the clamps before you clamp the showdown to the adapters. If you purchased a two-pack of Yakima SKS locks separately, remove the plastic caps and install the lock cores, one in each carrier. When left unlocked, the knob on the showdown can be loosened and tightened on your crossbar as normal. When the key is turned to the lock position, the knob is locked in place, inhibiting the ability to remove the clamp from your crossbar. Before loading your kayak, install the felt pads on the kayak saddles. If you would like to use the showdown to carry stand-up paddle boards, you will need to install the sub saddle in place of the kayak saddle. To do so, loosen the knob on the pre-installed kayak saddle and slide it out of the T-Track. Swap out the knob and the T-Track bolt to the sub saddle and repeat the same steps in reverse to install the sub saddle on the showdown. To load your kayak or sup, unclip and pull out the safety pins. It's okay to let the pins hang as long as they don't make contact with the side of your vehicle. Slide the carriers out and down into the loading position, then fold out the support hoops. Locate the tie-down straps to secure your kayak or sup to the carriers. Before loading anything, route each strap through the saddles. This location can be hard to access once you have something loaded in the carriers. With straps in place, you can begin loading. For this demonstration, we will be using a kayak. Slide the saddle into place with the kayak resting in the support hoops. Make sure full contact is made with the boat and tighten the knobs. Drape the tie-down straps over the kayak like so. Route the strap down through the support hoop through the bottom saddle, and back up through the support hoop. Thread the strap through the buckle, and pull it tight to cinch the strap. Repeat the same process for the second tie-down strap, and make sure to tie up any loose ends. With your kayak tied down, you're ready to use the load assist to get it onto the roof of your vehicle. Grasp the handles, and lift the boat all the way up. Then, slide the boat all the way on top of your vehicle. Replace the safety pins, and tie down the bow and stern of your kayak with the straps included with the showdown. Want to unload your boat? The process is the same as loading, just in reverse. Remove the safety pins, then slide your kayak out and down back into the showdown's loading position. Thanks for watching our product review and installation of the Yakima Showdown. If you have any questions about the product, give us a call at 1-800-272-5362 or send us an email at info at rackwarehouse.com. 